What's up, everybody? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw. Yeah, check us up on YouTube, man. Subscribe. Hit us up. Anyways, we're doing The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, the Joe Fix-It saga continues when Zax attacks. But we all know this isn't really Zax. This is General Thunderbolt Ross as Zax. A little complicated. Well, let's jump right into it, huh? All right. Basically, Ross has taken over this guy's powers. He's become a living Thunderbolt. He's attacked both uh, Bruce and Rick. He knocked out Bruce. He turned back to normal. He was the Gray Hulk. Rick is the Green Hulk due to uh, him falling in the same vat that made Bruce Banner the Gray Hulk. Whew! Now that I got all that out of the way, let's get into the fight. Anyways, Thunderbolt is saying, you know, you took everything from me. Basically, he's on a big revenge trip right now. And uh, he doesn't really know the difference between hulks right now he just wants to kill one of them or banner all the same you know it's all the same to him right now so he's just raging out destroying whatever he can trying to destroy rick who is the hulk right now and bruce is trying to reason with him and this has never worked before bruce has tried time and time and time again to reason with thunderbolt ross it's like reasoning with a savage hulk it just doesn't make no sense anyways this shield guy is trying to explain the quote-unquote accident that happened to General Thunderbolt Ross because his body's still there unconscious. And of course, he's trying to lie his way out of this, but Dr. Sampson, of course, suspects something foul in the air, and as does Betty. I mean, this guy hasn't really been on the level with them since they started out. So Betty is pissed off. Her world's been basically shattered here. Her father lays in some glass coffin. The other half of them, like some superhero being, she has no idea what happened to her husband and his best friend. So Be Betty's just freaking out right now. It hasn't been a good day for her. Meanwhile, Thunderbolt is doing what Thunderbolt do. And he's just shocking the crap out of uh, Rick Hulk and uh, Bruce Banner. Yeah, it's a little confusing right now. There's been more than one Hulk before in time after time, but I don't know. And uh, Rick's just trying to get away right now. He's still coming to grips with his powers, being the Hulk, and uh, he's not as strong as the raging Savage Hulk. And Thunderbolt has had experience fighting the Hulk before, so he knows where to pick his shots. And he just basically knocks the crap out of him. I mean, he lays the pimp hand down. And uh, Bruce is telling him, you know, to stay down. And uh, of course, all the electric beings seem to have one big weakness, especially when they don't fully understand their powers. Take a guess what it is. It's good old water. And Rick splashes it up. And man, you just got to laugh a little bit. He's just like, no! Boom! Yeah. I mean, like, he just explodes a little bit of water and poof. I guess on land he commands, but in sea it's me. <laughs> Anyways. He, has, he gets dispersed and he's pulling himself together. And this is the time where they need to get the hell out, retreat for a little bit, figure out what they're going to do about this guy because Thunderbolt's not going to stop. He's on a mission. He's on a mission to finally destroy Hulk once and for all. This has been his obsession for many, many years. Bruce kind of convinced Rick to jump away. Rick Hulk jumps away and Thunderbolt is following right behind them. It didn't take too long for him to put himself back together. But uh, Thunderbolt is pissed. And he's just raging out of control. They're going into a city right now to try to get some kind of authorities or help. And Thunderbolt's just zapping them without mercy. He doesn't care right now who he destroys as long as he destroys Hulk and Bruce Banner. Whether they be one and the same or not. Like I said, this has been his obsession, his mission. He has let the dark side out and he is blowing everything up. Kaboom! There went a gas station. And the people are just running in terror. As uh, Bruce kind of directs Rick Hulk and tells him to get some sand so they can put out that fire. And uh, yeah, he does what he's told. You know, he, his mind's not working all the way. But Bruce still has a little bit of strategy. They managed to put out the fire. And of course, Thunderbolt is still striking, you know. He is striking hard. He knocks Rick to the ground. Like I said, Rick's not used to these powers. And uh, he's adapting to it. Meanwhile, Bruce is trying to find a solution, trying to talk to him, you know, trying to make a plan. But Thunderbolts just keep striking and striking. And he has to figure out a way to get through to Ross, the human side of him. But, and this is very interesting, 
Ross uses his powers to go into the nervous system of Rick. So Rick, Hulk, and Thunderbolt have combined into one person. Meanwhile, this uh, nurse is being led to a freaky deaky house. And uh, yeah, she's going upstairs. And you know, this whole thing was foul from the start. She should have realized that. Anyway, she's supposed to be watching children. They have some kind of deformities, you know. And this guy's straight creepy. He locks her in the dark room. She screams. And uh, that's that. Anyways, back to the fight. Thunderbolt, Ross, Rick Hulk are one. Bruce tries to talk to him. And he just backhands him. Mmm. Takes him back to B Street, baby. Buy him. Anyways. You know. And uh, yeah, Thunderbolt can't contain it anymore. So uh, he ends up firing out a Rick. Uh, this turns Rick back to normal, and uh, this is where Thunderbolt's kind of having issues. Since he took over that guy's body, they're kind of going back and forth right now. He used up a lot of power doing that. And uh, yeah, he gets back in control, and now he's getting ready to lay the smack down to finally electrocute these guys for good. And this is where Bruce actually gets into his head. And Bruce has a history of doing this. But uh, meanwhile, yeah, they're figuring stuff out. They're having their little meeting. Of course, the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent drops a picture and Betty just loses it on him. And uh, he says that Betty might not be in the right emotional state, but can you really blame her? And you could tell that this guy's just all kinds of fishy. Anyways, like I said, Bruce is doing his mind games. He's trying to talk to Thunderbolt, trying to get through to him. He's making him realize that he has become the monster that he is so hated for all these years. That he's become no better than the savage hulk that he's been hunting for all those years. And taking a look in the mirror, realizing the creature that he's become. And you gotta admit, Bruce, Bruce Banner is a master at getting into someone's head. He has a really, really cunning mind. And uh, he makes... Thaddeus kind of realized that he's a monster. He flies away for now, giving uh, Bruce and Rick some much-needed time to recuperate and figure out what they're going to do next, how they're going to deal with this situation of having one Green Hulk and one Gray Hulk. And, of course, Thaddeus is an electrical being. And, as always, I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah!